This video, which discusses Bible prophecy, was initially going to be included later in this series. However, as per the request of a fellow YouTuber, I decided to go ahead and include it as a supplement to critical thinking and the Bible. Bible apologists sometimes claim that no matter how many objections we may have to the Bible, no matter how unlikely some of the stories may seem, the book is still verified as God's word because it contains prophecies that have been fulfilled. Skeptics argue that Bible prophecies, like any other prophecy, tends to be vague and therefore can be applied in a variety of situations. They also claim that the Bible uses a technique called postdiction, which is essentially a fraudulent prediction that's written after events occur, but claims to have been written beforehand. While in some cases both of these may be true about the Bible, it seems to be insufficient to claim that these are the case in every instance of prediction made in the Bible. So what if there are predictions made in the Bible that have come true, are coming true, or will come true? Would that necessarily mean that the Bible was God's word? Admittedly, some predictions seem to be more specific than would be possible by chance. It was common in the Mesoamerican world to believe that light-skinned men with beards would one day arrive by boat and rule them. The Aztecs in particular, on their calendar, noted a time, a year, 13 Flint, in which they believed world events would begin the decline of their empire. We know their year, 13 Flint, as 1492. Those would seem to be accurate predictions, but they don't occur in the Bible. Should we assume that those were God's people because they could predict something that happened? The Bible itself even includes an account of astrologers predicting the exact date and location that Jesus would be born. Now, a slight caveat here. The Bible actually says that a new star appeared in the sky, led them first to Jerusalem and then to the house in which Jesus was living. But this really seems unlikely. To understand why, go out on any clear night, pick out any star in the sky you like, and then try to figure out precisely what house it's standing above. It won't be possible. You would do well to figure out a city or a county, even a state, that the star was above. They're so far away. However, some historians have concluded that astrological events may indeed have caused Babylonian and Persian astrologers to believe that a king was being born in Israel. This would mean that they used a technique which is banned in the Bible, in which in fact a Jew would be killed for using, and accurately predicted the birth of Jesus with it. Would that mean that those astrologers were God's people? It may be unsatisfactory, but I have no explanation for how predictions are made. And honestly, I don't think anyone else does either. But it doesn't seem possible or honest to say that one form of prediction is from God and another is from Satan. And if you don't like that argument, think about the first to make a similar one. When Jesus was accused of expelling demons by means of Beelzebub, he responded, if I expel demons by means of Satan, how do your sons expel them? So the question is, if the Bible can be verified by its prophecies, what about all of the other prophecies and all of the cultures around the world that seem to be equally accurate? 